This is a short video on hydrocolloid duplication and articulating. Hydrocolloid is a wonderful duplicating material. It makes nice moles and accurate. We use it in the dental lab for making models for partials. Hydrocolloid comes in a big container and it's solid. You just have to chop it up. I chopped mine up. This is enough for two models. I took an allergen impression of a friend's mouth. Now these are going to be master models. I casted these in green stone, which is dye stone. I'm not going to articulate or the masters. I want to save them. I placed the master models in water. And I placed the container of hydrocolloid in the microwave. And I set the timer for 12 minutes. These things here are hydrocolloid or duplicating flask. This is used mainly for duplicating models. Here I'm placing ropes of wax. This is like sticky wax, just to make the seal better. These are older flasks, many years of use, thousands and thousands of duplications. The timer stopped on the microwave. I take out the hydrocolloid and I stir. The best thing about hydrocolloid, it's reusable. As soon as it sets up and hardens and you make your cast, you just chop it up and reuse it. There may be some small chunks of hydrocolloid that didn't quite melt, but it should be okay. I placed a wet master models on the base of the hydrocolloid flask, and then I put the top on. I press down firmly to make sure it seals right. I go around the flask with a knife, kind of press the seal of the rope wax in place. I simply pour the hydrocolloid into the flask. You notice that you see some chunks, but this will be fine. Now you can use like Tupperware bowls to do the same process. You don't have to have flask. I have done this several times with making creature teeth. After filling the flask, I will take the flask and I will place them in some cool water, kind of a water bath. Now it will go up to about halfway of the flask. It depends on how cold the water is. You can put some ice cubes in there, but it usually takes about 45 minutes in regular water. Then it's time to demold. You just scrape off the excess where it might have flowed underneath the model. Just remove it. Now to remove the master models, you start from the back and you pry them up. Now this may damage the back of the hydrocolloid, but it will be fine. If the hydrocolloid comes out of the flask, it will be fine. Just place it back. I rinse out the moles with water. Now I like my moles wet. And sometimes it might have a little bit too much water and I just tilt it out. But I use it for like a lubrication for the stone to flow better. I'm using a small vibrator to help this stone to flow off my knife. And this is the way I've always poured up models. The strange thing about hydrocolloid is, is when you pour up the model, you just simply pour it up, you know, let it work off the knife. The stone will flow easy. But it's somewhat hard to put a bubble in this material. And that's what's so neat about hydrocolloid. I fill the mold up to the top and smooth it with a knife, flat. And now I'll repeat the same process with a lower master mold. And another thing about hydrocolloid, you can actually cast using poor dental acrylic. And it works out well. I've done several teeth this way.
I have both flasks poured. Now I'll allow this to set up for 20 minutes. That's how long it takes for dental stones to set up. I remove the hydrocolloid from the hydrocolloid flask to simply pop it out. Then I start tearing away the hydrocolloid. This will break off easy. This is the upper master model duplication. And with the lower model, I can check the bite, and there's the bite, and it's correct. Now I'll just take the pieces of hydrocolloid, wash off any residue of old dried stone, and put it in the container and chop it up and reuse it. Here's duplications of the master models. I take the duplicated models, I key them, I find the bite, make sure it's correct. Then I wrap it with a rubber band. This is a fairly common articulator that I use. has a set screw in the back. I can adjust the height by screwing up or down. I paint the keys on the model with sodium silicate. This is diluted with water. A little goes a long way. I mix up some plaster. I have salt in my water. This will accelerate the setup. On this articulator you have a midline. It's in the center of this articulator base. This line should match up to the center of your central teeth. After I center the models, I apply more plaster on top. Then I close the upper part of the articulator down. I do a little touch up to the top plaster. Then with a damp rag, I press down. The damp rag makes articulating quicker. This small putty knife has been cut flat for easy cleanup around articulating. After doing cleanup, you need to let it set up. It shouldn't take no more than 10 minutes. After setup, take a knife and just trim any sharp edges or jagged edges. And it's time to cut the rubber band. Just simply cut it away. Now there's your new articulation. Now it's ready to start designing some creature teeth. You can adjust the set screw like I said earlier. This will allow you to have maybe a thick base plate. Now you know how to duplicate master models and hydrocolloid and articulate. I hope this helps. Now I can start making some creature teeth. More coming soon.